In this video, we're going to look at Newton's third law, which states that when two objects interact, the forces they exert on each other are equal and opposite. And you can use this definition in the exam. The equal bit refers to the magnitude of the two forces, whereas the opposite part refers to their direction. So if you were to push a box using a force of 100 newtons, then the box would also exert an equal force of 100 newtons on you. But the two forces would be acting in opposite directions. And we call this force that the box is exerting the normal contact force. Now, the weird thing is that this situation could cause either you or the box to move. If it was only a small box, then chances are that the box would be the one to move because it has a much lower mass. On the other hand, if the box was really big, then it wouldn't move at all. And so if you pushed it quickly, then you might be pushed backwards instead. Just think of a time when you push yourself off a wall or you've jumped off the ground. It's exactly the same thing. Even though you're pushing on the wall or on the floor, you're the one that moves. It doesn't always have to be completely one or the other though. If the box was medium sized, then you might get pushed backwards a little bit, but the box might still go forwards a bit. You don't need to know the details of what determines which object will move. But in general, you can think of it in terms of Newton's second law equation, F equals MA. If we rearrange it to get acceleration, we can see that it's equal to force divided by mass. So for an object to be accelerated and move, you need either a high force or a small mass, which is why the smaller object will generally move most. Anyway, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, then be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.